feeling fantastic. Go Cox. Yes, go Cox. Just a few of the fans outside the Colonial Life Arena as the Gamecocks routed Norfolk State in the first round of the NCAA Women's Basketball Tournament. Our Chandler Mack is also live at the Colonial Life Arena with the details. A happy day for Don Staley and company. Yes, sir, JR. It certainly was a happy day. Now, it wasn't the master class performance that we're accustomed to seeing from the national champions today, but the Gamecocks still did what they needed to do. They won the game, and they really did it because of their bench. Their bench, the second unit, they outscored the Spartans by themselves. 41 bench points, and guess what? 13 of the 14 players that hit the court for South Carolina scored as the team improved to 11-0 and in first-round tournament games under Don Staley. Well, I feel like what we bring to the table is just energy and push the ball down the floor. We just run down the floor. We know Raven's going to find us. We know she's going to pass the ball. And I think that's what we do the best, bring energy. You know, it's great. You know, you never feel like there's a drop off no matter who comes in the game. Um, and I think we show that every time we step on the floor. I just think everyone that stepped on the floor tonight um, did a great job and competed. I think we had a lot of things we need to clean up. Uh, like I said, it's a win is a win. And March Madness, March Madness, the only thing that matters is winning. Um, but we're a way better team than what we showed tonight, and we plan to clean that up on Sunday. And the, and the Gamecocks will face South Florida on Sunday as they'll look to advance to the Sweet 16 for the ninth time in the last 10 NCAA tournaments. Reporting in front of Colonial Life Arena with the Gamecocks, Chandler Mack, News 19, WLTX. All right, Chandler, thank you. Of course, with that tournament underway, there's more traffic out there. That means more police. The Hugey Street Corridor, Blossom Street, Gervais, and Assembly areas seeing higher than normal traffic today, and it's going to be the case again on Sunday. Officers, though, are going to be stationed at different points along those streets to help move things along. And with more games to be played on Sunday, that means fans will be spending more time and money in that area. News 19's Walker Lawson is live outside the Colonial Life Arena as well. Walker continues our team coverage of this big story, which is leading to a boom for some local stores. Walker. Well, that's right, Darcy. Fans have already left Colonial Life Arena, and I'm assuming they've probably gone to go pick out their newest Gamecock attire or head to local restaurants. Those I spoke to earlier today said they're anticipating a lot of business, and they've already seen a lot of people throughout the week. So we've seen people come from all over the U.S., a lot obviously here in the South. Parker Metz is operations manager at Miss Cocky. But we've had a really great week and we're anticipating a really busy week with St. Patty's Day. So the city's always big for us, but also with the tournament being here in Columbia, we're really excited. He says Gamecock attire has been flying off the shelves all week long as fans fill the store from Charleston, Massachusetts, and even Florida. We're on, uh, Gainesville, Florida. Her mom's a, a Gator. I'm obviously a Gamecock, so this is her first time to Columbia. We're staying here at the Marriott, where the team is also staying. We just saw the team. Uh, we cheered them on to get on the bus, and uh, we got here yesterday, and uh, we're staying uh, till Sunday. Not only are people shopping, but they're also eating, as restaurants like Cantina 76 and Home Team Barbecue are preparing for the crowds to continue with St. Patrick's Day on Saturday and another round of women's basketball on Sunday. We had a huge lunch crowd already, and that's only Friday morning. I mean, I'm expecting, and a lot of these people don't even know what's going to be going on in five points. They're going to try to get lunch and realize there's a whole festival and a bunch of people are going to try to get in afterwards as well. Um, I mean, it's so crazy that we're even closed down a little early tomorrow, and then Sunday is going to be full tilt again. You made it. All right. Now again, the game, now again, the Gamecocks will return to Colonial Life Arena on Sunday. The time is still unannounced. Reporting in Columbia, I'm Walker Lawson, News 19, WLTX.